plus 2 physics magnetism lesson 3.83 obtain a relation for the magnetic field at a point along the axis of a circular coil carrying current i am dr anne frida from slb government high secondary school nagarkoil consider a current carrying circular loop the radius of the loop is r o is the center of the loop we are going to find the magnetic field at a point p which is at a distance z from o so z is the distance between o and p let us consider two line elements dl at c and at d and r is the vector which is joining this current element and the point p from c and also from d pc is equal to pd is equal to r and applying pythagoras theorem to this triangle p o c we get r is equal to root of capital r square plus z square all right small r square is equal to capital r square plus z square so we get r is equal to root of capital r square plus z square by its sabat law db is equal to mu0 by 4 pi i dl cross r vector divided by r square so this db created is perpendicular to this dl and r vector r vector is here and dl is here they both are perpendicular later we shall see how they are being perpendicular and now the db created will be perpendicular to this ideal and also this unit vector r taking the magnitude of db it could be written as mu 0 by 4 pi ideal sin theta by r squared because dl cross unit vector of r could be written as dl sin theta the cross product must be written in terms of sin theta and so we write db is equal to mu 0 by 4 pi ideal sin theta by r square the value of theta is always 90 and so sin 90 is 1 db is written as mu 0 by 4 pi ideal by r square we shall see why this theta is considered to be 90 always this is one dl and this is another one dl dl is a length element in a circular coil it is a small distance is the point at a distance is it from the center of the coil o r is a vector which joins dl and p we say that the angle between dl and r is always 90 degrees because the angle between the r and the ideal is supposed to be 90 see however we keep the r however we slant the r the angle between uh, the angle between dl and r is always 90, 90 degrees so only we say that the angle between dl and r is always 90 even if we keep in the next dl the angle between the dl and r is 90 and we should not take the angle between the plane of the coil and r that will not be 90 right 90 we get db to be mu 0 by 4 pi ideal by r square and now we can resolve this db this db is along pr and 
along PS. That is, it is perpendicular to DL and R. See here, this is a perpendicular, right? To resolve uh, the magnetic field, we have to draw horizontal component and also vertical components. Horizontal components are along x-axis and vertical components are along y-axis. We can see how the magnetic field is being resolved into the x-axis component and y-axis component like this. Let this be a circular coil and this is one DL and this is another one DL. We are going to find the magnetic field at a point P at a distance is it from the center of the coil we know that dl and r if this is r dl and r are perpendicular and the magnetic field produced is perpendicular to this r and dl see here if this is dl this is R and magnetic field is perpendicular to these both. So, the direction of the magnetic field will be like this. Right? But it is not along x-axis or y-axis. So, we have to resolve it. One component along x-axis and another component along y-axis. So it will be like this. The angle between the magnetic field and X component is 5. DB is getting resolved to a horizontal component and vertical component. Along the horizontal that is along X axis we get DB cos phi. The angle between this magnetic field and the horizontal component is phi and so the adjacent side of any triangle could be written as cos phi. So the magnetic field is db and so it is db cos phi. Horizontal component for this ps component is db cos phi. This is along positive direction and this is along negative direction and so they get cancelled. But the vertical component for PR and PS, they are in the same direction and so they get added up. And so the total magnetic field will be integration of dB and that is integration of dB sin phi and it is along unit vector of K. B is integral of dB sin phi into unit vector of K. Substituting the value of dB, we take out the constant values mu0 i by 4 pi and we are integrating dL by r square into sin phi into unit vector of K. From triangle OCP, here this is the angle phi because these are similar angles. See, this is a perpendicular and this is also a perpendicular. So, this angle is phi means this angle also must be phi. And so, what is sin phi? Opposite side divided by the hypotenuse that is capital R divided by capital R square plus Z square the whole power half. And B could be written as we substitute the value of sin phi and R square in this equation and so we get mu0 i by 4 pi sin phi is r divided by r square plus z square the whole power half and so it is here r divided by r square plus z square the whole power half into r square is r square plus z square this is r square plus z square the whole power 1 and so here, there is r squared plus z squared the whole power half and also here r squared plus z squared the whole power 1. So 1 plus half is 1 and a half that is 3 by 2. And so we get r divided by r squared plus z squared the whole power 3 by 2.
into unit vector of k and integral of dl. Integral of dl is equal to 2 pi r. So here we can multiply the numerator by 2 pi r. We have one r and so by multiplying another one r we get r squared. We also have a quantity 2 pi and this 2 pi gets cancelled with this 4 pi in the denominator and so we get only 2 and so we have b is equal to mu 0 i by 2 pi into r square divided by r square plus z square the whole power 3 by 2 into unit vector of k. If there are n turns in this coil, if there are n turns in this coil, we can just multiply it with n that is mu 0 n i divided by 2 into r square divided by r square plus z square the whole power 3 by 2 into unit vector of k. If we find the magnitude at the center of the coil, at the center of the coil the z is 0, the value of z is 0 and so here this z will become 0. If this becomes 0, this r square and 3 power 2 we have, so this 2 and this square will get cancelled and so we, we will have r cube. In the numerator we have r square and r square divided by r cube will be r alone. And so the value of b will be equal to mu 0 ni divided by 2r into unit vector of k. That is the direction of b will be along z axis. Thank you.